Alright guys, so today I'm going to make a video that pretty much no one else has really made a video on. Just a barely a couple videos. And that is going to be how to get a custom alarm sound on your iPod Touch. So I don't know if you guys can see this or not. But like when you, I have alarms set up for when I wake up for school. And then it just plays like an annoying beeping sound or something like that. And I'm going to show you how to get it. I'm going to show you a little preview of it. Yeah, it's like when you're scrolling through all your little um, alarms and stuff, and you click on one. Let me turn the volume up. Yeah. Right, you play it thing. Very annoying. Okay, it's really annoying. So. Yeah, so you're looking through all your songs. I have a song, Anthem for the Underdog, by Tall Stones. Um, it's from the soundtrack of the movie, Never Back Down. It's a really good movie. Whatever, but I'm not going to click on it. I'll give you a quick preview. And it'll play the whole song pretty much until I wake up. Which, if you guys can, it works with any song in the world as long as you have it in iTunes. Or as an MP3 file, whatever you download off the internet, or you bought it from iTunes, whatever, it doesn't matter. As long as it's in iTunes, it's good. If you download off the internet, um, just like go to wherever your file is saved, like the desktop or something, and then just click on it and drag it into iTunes. Um, this works for both Mac and PC. Um, yeah, so just go into your iTunes, find a good song. Um, I'm gonna go with Bitter Sweet Symphony. Um, make sure it's kind of a, this isn't really a good song for an alarm, but make sure it's kind of loud so you can sort of wake you up. And um, unless you can figure out how to just cut off, cut off the portion that you want and save it as an MP3 pile, file and put it in iTunes, then you're gonna to want to have a loud beginning, so you don't have to wait for like 30 seconds for the song to get going, then for it to start trying to wake you up. Here's a little preview of this song, and that's just gonna to want to make you go to sleep. So it's not a good song for this, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it, and go to advanced, and create a a C version. And it's going to say up here, it's not right now because I'm playing a song, like converting or something, something. But it should end up showing two different two different things of the same song in iTunes. So just make sure you can keep track of which is the MP3 and which is the um, AAC because they're going to look exactly the same. But usually it's going to be the one on the bottom, but you're just going to want to be sure. So just click on it in iTunes, drag it to your desktop. And it's going to be an M4A file, which as you know, that's the AAC version. And then, so now you can exit out of iTunes. And then, double click on... Crap. Right. Um, just rename it. Where is the rename? can't get it to find the rename, just click on the words once, wait like two seconds, click on it again, and then go over here to where it says .m4a and change it to m4 .m4r. And then this pops up, click use .m4r. If the extension doesn't show up, then just add on the end where there's nothing, just go to the end and type in .m4r. Alright, once you do that, go into Cyberduck for Mac or WinSCP for Windows, Key FTP Pro for Windows as well. Doesn't really matter as long as you know to SSH into your iPod Touch or iPhone. Works on both of these. But yeah, you're sick. Alright, you're gonna want to click on this thing and make sure it's on a little slash. Um, you guys should know where that is on WinSCP. I can't really show you because I have Mac. And then you're gonna want to go to Private Var. Um, 
stash and then ringtones dot blah 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 and then here's all your alarm noises and I believe for iPhone it's actually going to show all your ringtones I'm not sure on iPhone if it combines the ringtones and alarms in one folder or not but if there's an alarms folder go and click on that but most likely it's going to be the ringtones, fo ringtones folder alright and then just drag the file that you downloaded or that you made to AAC version drag it into here wait for that to finish and almost done once again here is the thing it's from the slash private and then var and stash and ringtone dot blah blah blah. Oh, and by the way, I got my cousin got she had the iPhone 3G, but then she upgraded to the 3GS, so she gave me the iPhone 3G, which is pretty big news. Um, the Wi-Fi doesn't work on it. Actually, like once you restore it, it works for about 20 minutes, and then it stops working. So it's I can still download apps on my computer and transfer them over, but crap. Other than that, I can't really do anything. So I don't know why this is froze. I'm gonna go and pause the recording and try to fix it. All right, it worked. It was just the uh, Cyberduck that was froze. So you just saw and double check it's in there, and you can exit out of that go into iPod Touch or iPhone and respring it or reboot it if re to respring it just go into Winterboard and like tap on any theme like that and then tap it again so that it's you select it and then you unselect it to where it's just normal but when you exit out and click the home button it'll automatically respring it and if you don't know how to do all what I just said just reboot it turn it off turn it back on there's also an app from CDA called Respring. You can use that too. All right, so it's finished respringing right there. So now I'm gonna go into my clock application and hit the plus button in the top right corner to add a new alarm. And right now it's 4:56, so I'm gonna set it for 4:57. And for the sound, click on that and click your sound. Bittersweet Symphony is mine and click save in the top right corner and let me turn up my volume and it's gonna play here in a sec and there we go so it's not very loud because it's not a very loud song but if you have a really loud song it's gonna be good. It's gonna play the whole song over and over and over to click OK or snooze or whatever. Alright, guys, and that's how to make any song your alarm on an iPhone or an iPod Touch. So, thanks, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and donate.